Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I've got a few packages and I do not know what is inside. So we will open these together. I also have got this. So I've been on a trip for a few days to Holland and I just got back. So I didn't have time to test the Zima board. So I bought this for the Zima board. We've seen that in my last unbox video. So this is micro DP to HDMI so I can record with my HDMI capture device. So I already know this one isn't perfect. So it is being sold as, I'm sorry. So it is being sold as being 4K 60 FPS. It cannot do that. It can do 4K 30 FPS or 1440p 60 FPS. I use my 4K display at 1440p 60 FPS. So for me, this is good enough. I just know it isn't perfect. So it is from Cable Direct. Mini DP, mini DP ports, HDMI. So it is from Amazon. I will put a link here. It isn't an affiliate link, but well, so. Where are my scissors? Okay, I've got my scissors, so I really do not know what is inside. I can make a guess, but I don't think it is that. So I am waiting on a Mixtile board. So it is a module from Mixtile that I'm waiting on that comes with a carrier board. So it might be that, but these are three heavy boxes. I really do not know why there would be three. I'm also waiting on a case for my Rock 5B, uh, but this will not be the case for my Rock 5B for sure. This is too big. So let's open it up and let's see what is inside. I have no clue. Come on, you bad scissors. Do your job. What? I think there's something wrong. I just got a Zima board and I think this will be a Zima board too. I think they made a big mistake. It is also a Zima board. Exactly the same as the one I've got. So I've got this one. So it is exactly the same. So the J300, uh, so the J3455 SOC, 8 gigs of memory, <coughs> 8 gigs of memory, 32 gigabytes of EMMC. So I think they made a big mistake. I only needed one, they sent me four. I don't know why that is, so I can open this, but I already know it's gonna be the same. So, this is another model. This is 432, that's weird. 832, 432. So these two are the same. So these are the same as this one. So this is another model. This is 432. So it has got the same sock, I think. I can't read it very well. This one has got four gigs of memory. Also 32 gigs of EMMC. I really don't know why they sent me this. Oh well, we can boot this Zima board for the first time. So let's put these on the side. 
I will let the people from Zima know they sent me too much boards and I will see to send them back but I hope I will not have to pay for the shipment because shipping from Belgium to whatever place is very very expensive so let's where did I put the cable here it is so let's plug this in Um, HDMI. <clears throat> so this comes here. Goes in here. Here we go! Make sure my capture device is on. It isn't. Okay, so here we are at Casa OS. This is their own operating system based on Debian. So it is just GNOME. I need to plug in a network. So the first thing I did, as with any Debian based distro, is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. I'm not sure you are supposed to do this. So Casa OS has a web interface, until now I haven't used it yet. I was just interested in seeing how Debian is. So with the web interface you can set up your cloud storage or NAS or maybe other server tasks. I will have to look into that, maybe a separate video about Casa OS itself. You can install it on any PC you want, if it is x86 of course. So for me for using as a desktop, this is the best operating system. I would rather use ARM Jami, so with Ubuntu. I am used to using that on my ARM SBCs, so I like to have the same environment on every board. So then I wanted to install a few packages like GNOME Shell Extensions, GNOME Shell Extension Manager, GNOME Tweaks, GNOME Disk Utility, LM Sensors, GURL package cannot be found. So when I try to install the GURL package I always have unmet dependencies. No, that's a joke. So there are unmet dependencies over here. Uh, so there are a few ways to fix this. Either you manually install all the dependencies and then install the package you want. I use another way, so I use aptitude instead of apt. So aptitude searches for problems and gives you a few choices to fix them. So first I need to install aptitude, so sudo apt install aptitude. And then run sudo aptitude install gnome shell extension manager. It gives me a few choices. So the first one I say no because it says leave it as it is. Then I also say no and then I say yes to this. This will install all the dependencies, but will leave the package that I want uninstalled. I will install it manually afterwards. 
So after that all the dependencies are installed and now I can install the package that I wanted and it works. So that's just a small trick, maybe you know it, but it can be handy if you don't know it yet. I then tested the transfer rates. So here you see it from my SD card. So this is with the USB 3 to SD adapter. This is what I use to run Armbian on and it is fast enough. So as you see 90 megabytes a second, about 80 megabytes a second write. That's okay. But then I had problems with one of my SSDs. So when I benchmarked my 2TB NVMe drive from Crucial, then I got this, all humps and bumps. This is very bad. I didn't know what the problem was, so I plugged it into a USB 3 to SATA adapter and it was the same problem. So it wasn't the SATA port from the Zima board. Then I took another SSD, a 240GB SSD, and plugged it into the SATA. And that ran great. So here are the results of that. And as you see 546 megabytes a second reads, 509 megabytes a second write. So the SATA ports function well. I just have an issue with an SSD. Maybe it's a fake one. Normally I test them when I get them. But maybe I didn't test it well this time. So I will have to write 2 terabyte of data onto it and check if the data is still good. So here we are in Armbian. So Armbian runs great on it. I've set it up the way I want it. I also installed Windows. Windows doesn't run that great. I am still updating after more than 12 hours. So for Windows it really is a bit slow. For Linux it is great. So for light server tasks this is a good board. It is power efficient for x86. So this isn't my review video yet. This is just a first boot and a bit more explanation. So if you want to win one of these SIMA boards become a Patreon member. You still have time for two weeks. In two weeks I will select somebody from my Patreon. I will give each person a number and then let the computer decide what number wins. So now I've got two Patreon members. So they make a lot of chance. You can still become a Patreon member and also have the chance for this. And maybe I will give away more boards in the future because I do have a lot of spare boards that I can't use. So that will be it for today. I've just received my Kados H2 metal case. So I will assemble that and also make a video about that. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, see you later, bye!